three power chairs, three chairs that fold up, very lightweight, nice, very comfortable chair, um, very narrow chair. He just rode it down this grass. Now this grass is pretty thick. It's about two, three, even four inches. Yeah, this one has a better turning radius. Yeah, this one moves pretty good as well. A little soggy right now, a lot of rain. When you rode this one, how did it do in that grass? It, ha it handled real good. It was real strong. The motor's strong, no problem. Cutting through the grass, not at all. Okay. Then you rode this one, how'd this one do? Uh, this one did the same thing, has the same kind of power, same power, and, but except the turning was a little difficult. Turning on the acceleration's a little um, slow, um, so kind of you have to kind of go forward a little bit. Because that's a good thing, especially if you use it inside the house, because it doesn't like jerk real hard on you. Mm. Then we rode this one, we brought this one in the video, because this one is the carbon, it's lightweight, and it's a very popular chair. Don't sell it really as a made for the grass type things, but Parks is fine. It made it. How did it do? Oh there? yeah, this was good. This just as powerful as the, the other two. Uh, turned much easier at the end. Uh, it has the same power as, as, as these two, I believe. Yeah. It felt like. This is TSA approved. That's TSA approved. This one has the biggest battery. It's not TSA approved, but they do have one that's coming out. Um, comfort wise on these three, sitting in them. You want to sit in this one? Sit in this one real quick. And how tall are you, 6'2"? Six, six, six foot. Six foot. Uh, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. So if one to 10. I would say it's about an eight. That's kind of high. Don't Is it? Think? I don't know. I mean, you ever watch the pizza reviews? All right, now come over here. <laughs> so you're giving it like the best pizza though from that one guy, right. Barstools. So that was a... An eight? Well, that's... Oh, no, this is an eight. No, that one's a seven. A seven? Yeah. This one has a higher back. Check yeah, out the back higher on back this. Here, that's so what the it back is. is about 14 inches from the seat. Um, and I don't think you can adjust that. You can't. This does have a removable seat cushion along as that one and that one. All right, so then you gave this a what, a seven? Yeah. And then this one, an eight? Oh, yeah. All right, we'll hop over here to the carbon really quick. Oh, I didn't measure this. Hang on, Eddie. So from the seat, we're almost at 19 inches. Yeah, that's a And good again, this is a removable seat cushion, so you can change out the seat cushions if you have a custom one or whatever, you can change that. 
a lower profile one, a higher profile one, whatever you want. Now you're in the basic, most basic cushion. Right. How's that feel? This feels nice. It's, it's comfortable. It's light. I feel light. I don't feel as heavy like that. Other wheelchairs feel a bit more sturdy. This is a little bit easy to maneuver, I would think. Okay. You know, it's 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 a lighter chair. You can feel it, and, but it's comfortable. Well, it's the carbon. Yeah. So it's supposed to be light. Yeah, you want it light, yeah. I will mention to you really quick, before we get into a lot of other stuff, these don't flip back. So if you're a transfer, you have to come out the front. If you had a transfer from right to left, can't do it. This one does have the arms that flip back, and so does the carbon. You can flip this back. So that's a kind of a big deal. Just throw that out there to you. I will say that this one gets way out the way compared to these two. Right. Um, so it's easy to get in and out. This one looks better to me. This one's Bluetooth. That one's Bluetooth. That one's not. So you can do a couple things in the Bluetooth app. Um, this leather look or touch, I, I don't know if that's real leather or not, but it feels really nice. Um, you also have the digital dash, the digital display, along with this one over here. And you have the convenient USB, both of them built right onto the joist or the remote. This one, the, both, all three of these chairs, you can move the, the joystick from right to left. You can actually this is set at 18 inches. You can make this into a 16 inches, so this can be very narrow. You just have to do a couple changes, and you can increase this handlebar height with this one. This one's stationary. That one's stationary. This can be moved from right to left, too. So if you're a left-hander, both all these chairs could be moved over. The easiest one to move would be that one. This one would be second. This one would be third. From number one, comfort, which one's number one? This What's one. number two? Oh, that one. And number three? This one. Right Perfect. Here. All right. So let's talk about the FI right here by Will. It's a, it performs very well if you had to use it in the yard. We wouldn't sell it to you as an ultimate outdoor power wheelchair for the yard. The benefits that this one brings to someone is that if you were a smaller person and you need it very narrow, again, this is swooping out a little bit. All that can be changed around to make this into 16 inches. So this is about 22 inches overall width, which is nice. Um, so if you currently have a power wheelchair and you can't get through your bathroom doors or you have some narrow doorways, I've had people buy this just because of that reason. Um, this foot plate's pretty easy to pull up and down. I don't really care for this bar too much, but I just got off the phone with someone that has this and he's interested in another chair and they have no issue with it at all. So you can put your hands here to get up. I like that. Um, you have a little storage bag underneath it. The tires on this particular unit is about seven inches at the front. The back tires back here are about the same just a little bit wider if you see the, the, the width how you can charge this unit is different than all three of these you have one way of charging it unless you buy accessory port that you can bring up here I don't know really how that would work on this particular unit but this is the battery you can charge it right through here you can keep this in to charge it and again, this is lightweight, about six pounds, FFA approved. You can travel all over the world with this thing. Um, you don't need an extra battery unless you get it and you think you might need a one because you're all day using it eight hours or something. So that's the battery. The battery over here on the... Alley about the same I like the handle on that you can charge it through here but the benefit you'd get is you can also charge it directly through the joystick so if you're using this inside your house if you live at independent living and you need to charge it it's easily charged through here or if you're traveling a lot and you don't want to take the chair inside 
you could take just this battery pack inside you could charge it through here but this is a 20 amp hour battery this is the long range battery they have at the moment they have this in many different colors it's just a shroud that you change out they have this in three different colors the teal black and white and this comes in white or this finish all the way around now charging this unit you can charge it right through the joystick you also have your USB charging port or you can easily remove the battery and charge it directly through here this battery is very light this is the smallest battery of the three it's a 288 so it's very comparable to that one down there all right again on this one you can change this seat cushion out and you have a storage compartment here this one has the same thing storage compartment underneath but has a super nice bag at the back that comes with it that you'll like All right, um, let's talk about um, put it in free will and pushing. All right. Another cool thing about these chairs, all three of them, is that if you get somewhere and it's tight spaces and someone gets nervous, you can roll these like a transport chair. Now this one's going to be a little bit harder because you got your hands down here and you have to release the motors from here release down the other side down now from here if someone's in it you can push them like this i'm about five seven so i'd be bending over andre eddie would be bending over even more so that can be done this one back here check how nice this is we don't suggest you always use your foot but it seems like they designed it to do that so here and here now you can push this thing very nice pushing you got a handlebar if you're taller i'm sure this will be still fine for you and then we're gonna get over here to the carbon the same thing you can do your foot if you're very light, but that's the push, and then you can push it. All of these have to be turned off to push. So you can use this as a transport chair, but they also, once you flip it back, they can use it as a power wheelchair. Uh, let's do a fold up. I'm gonna do this with Eddie. You know how to fold these up? Yep. So Eddie's gonna come in. The reason why I'm using him is because we like to be as honest as we can and this might be too heavy for some people to pick up. We're going to tell you the specs. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and fold up the FI. You remember how to do that one? Mm. So how to fold the FI up. If you want to reduce the battery or the weight, take the battery out, put that to the side. Josh, you're going to come here with your foot. There's a latch back here. And then this is folded up. Okay? Uh -huh. So this can be rolled. You can put it into the car on its back if you want it to, on its front. Like so. On its back. Like so. That's how you can travel with it, or you can keep it standing upright. Now, Eddie, try to pick this up. It's kind of an awkward way to pick up, kind of awkward. That's about 55 pounds, I think. Yeah. Kind of, kind of hard to find spots to pick it up at, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's, a, it's about 50 pounds. It's, it's uh... It's not, I, I'm, it's not that easy. 
But if you have somebody like you helping, you know, the difference. So this is a great chair for someone that needs, again, smaller, narrow doors. You're not going to really travel too much with it, but you have it do travel. Or if you have someone that can easily handle this, be nice. Cruise ships could be great for it because of how small it is. Just keep, cruise ships, this would be great yeah. for cruise ships. All right. Allie, we're going to take the battery out. And to take the battery that's on both sides, you got to go to unlock, clip it, bring it out. Just put it right there. Fold this bad boy up. Remember the hand thing. Yeah. You already forgot. How to... Hold on. Oh, wait, wait. Right, so Hold how... on. No, no, no. It's right here. On both sides, there's a lever. You don't have to use both, one or the other. Yeah, that was and easy. Make, make sure it locks. It's locked. So from here, just so you know, you can roll it and it stands straight up. So it's just as compact as that one is. All right, Eddie, pick this one up. I hit this little... No, pick it up. Just pick oh, it up. Pick it up. Yeah, that's not bad. This is not bad at all. It feels like about 40, what is it, 45? Mm, 49 without the battery, they say. <coughs> this is how you unfold this one. Foot on that back plate, and you're gonna push that button. <coughs> this one unfold it, remember how to do that? Yeah. You push this guy push down, down, Yep. push down, and then oh. lift straight up. All right, so let's check out these tires while we're here. About nine and a half inches. Pretty nice size tires. Air for a smoother ride. Front tires are thicker. And the height of it. Overall width at the wheelbase. It's 24 mm -hmm. and a half, a little bit less than 25. So that's a big deal, guys. You might love this chair, but if you can't get it through your doorways, if you have small doorways, it might have to be something like that. Um, but I will say, between the arms on this one's almost 19 inches, 18 and a half. This one's 325 pounds. This one, I believe, is, let's say 275, I forgot. That's surprising a little bit. That's 19. But your, your legs can compress to the side where this one's open. So if, if you are a little bit larger, you have room out here. It's not pushing on your sides. And then over here between the arms, it's about 18. Eddie, you know how to do this, don't you? Yeah. Okay, fold this down. This one has a little... Just look. Is that it? Yep, you can stand it up. As long as the caster wheels are in, you need to have the caster wheels out when you're riding in this. To pick this up, you can pick it up like this. You can pick it up like this. Yeah. Pick that up for me, Eddie. Tell mm -hmm. me how it feels. Yeah. Lighter? Yeah, much lighter. Much lighter. We know that. We know this is a light chair. To unfold it, grab it here, and kind of bring it back. The bat Was the battery in on that? Battery was even in on that. So you could reduce that weight by taking this out. It's like four pounds. Um, overall width, 23 inches, height of the tire, about eight, across the tire width, about two. 
So about the same size tires as the caster tires on that. And then up at the front, a little bit less than two. And then the height, it's about right about there, about six and a half. Can't see it. All right, well, we'll see which one's faster. Hey. Hey, y'all had me turned down. Let's do that again. Say one, two, three. Come on, let's go, baby. Come on, Eddie. Oh, Eddie got I got zero turn. That's what it was, a zero turn. Well, the FI has a little bit better acceleration. What mode? We need to find out what mode that's in, though. That's got three different modes. I might, that's, they might be in sport mode, but we'll have to look. Um, oh, another cool thing about the Ally that we like as a light with a soft touch and a light at the back that's always on. No light, no light. I like it. People might not think it's a big deal, but I think it's a big deal. This one comes with a seat belt. That one comes with a seat belt. That one you'll probably have to add the seat belt. <clears throat> price wise, they're all similar in pricing. This one's probably gonna be a tiny bit cheaper. Um, very similar. Oh, this is adjustable in height. You have three adjustments. And the foot plate, um, these can't be. Again, digital dash, digital dash, voice. That one also talks to you if there's something wrong with it. Both of us have Bluetooth. This is just your standard. It's the sun's on us, a little bit of an overcast. This one's harder to see what speed you're at. This one's reasonable. This one's the clearest. So if you're if you have visual, if you're a little bit of vision, you're probably gonna like the F5 better. Move your hand, Eddie. No, he's moving. Horn, oh, button, speed control, slower, faster, power button's here, horn's right here. Over here, they say don't put your hand on this to get up, so put, so put your hands back here to get up where you can be out there. Um, this one makes noise, but you can turn it down, that's your speed. This is your horn. That's just an SOS button. That's your power on, power off, but you gotta unlock it to turn it off. So you gotta hold this, turn it on and off, which you might like, you might not like. Over here, you got your speed. It beeps, power button, horn. You don't wanna put a lot of weight on this to get up. Getting into these can be a little bit easier if you don't want to do the foot plate by like this and coming around and bringing this down. It's easy movement. You can put your hands here, put your hands back here to get up. You can do the same thing with this one. Just flipping that back. Turn this way, Josh. And come right out. So if you don't feel like bending over and grabbing those foot plates, you don't have to if you do this. This one they don't come up. And I say that because someone bought this and say, look, I need to transfer. I didn't realize that you couldn't move. So we shipped them one of these instead. 
All right, let's take it inside and maneuver. Or what else do we are we missing? Oh, you want to do? We want to get some more through the grass. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Everyone, try to just copy my pattern. Now, what we're gonna do here is this is pretty high, and not not suggest it to to do this, but just for this video. We want to show you if it can do it. It's a slope here too. And it feels stable. Hey. Hey. Do it again. Put those, take that out though. Oh, that could be in there. Make sure the anti tippers are out. That's crucial. Put the anti tippers on that thing, move them out. It's really important to have these out. So there's the reason why, but at the same time, you shouldn't be going up this. But again, if you're riding this for a long period of time, hey, you that need was to a have good those ninja move. tippers out. All right, go ahead. And lean forward. Wow. That's all right. It did it, it's struggling. See how it's still moving a little bit? This one felt more secure. Eddie? <laughs> See how it comes back down? I think this one did better. All right, I'm gonna ride through this real quick. He's in a swell, so that's not fair. That swell's there to move water. Try to get up there with it. F5 is cruising. The, the carbon can handle a good cut, well-maintained yard that's not so soggy. Pull that seatbelt up. Let's drag it on the other side. All right, let's run this through some steel slag. We have it really thick back there because we have 18 wellers and big trucks that come, so nothing does that great back there, but there are some spots. If you would have it'll it'll go you down would. your gravel road. All, all of these will go down your gravel road. As long as it's not real thick, thick steel slag. Watch this car. Hey, I'm glad can it was you ramp. that you Y'all come this way. Up, easily in. That's at the, the right setting. If you have a gravel road or if you go to car shows, you're going to go through gravel. Over there, it's real thick. You can tell where this is thinned out because of the trucks. But look, look how thick this is. So this is called steel slag. This is the reason for this is heavy and it doesn't let the water rush, run this stuff off. But look, look how thick that is. These places in here. I mean, you can't expect a power chair to make it through some of this spot. Some of it's even thicker than this. I got four truckloads, maybe five back here. Actually, six. <laughs> um, right here, you can tell this is what sometimes your, your gravel road is going to look like.
this this is this will run all both of these fine but if you do happen to go to a car show or you go somewhere where you have this try to keep it as straight as you can and try to keep your speed going you don't want to stop and turn you don't want to you want to kind of keep it going look how thick it is right here So with it doing that, I might can sit here and do donuts and it, it can hold it up. That's pretty well. Josh, come straight right. through the same path I did. Back it up. You just go straight through that. All right, let me explain something. If this happens to you and you have one of these chairs, most of the times people are able, they have mobility. They need this for distance. Um, you might have to get out of this, put this in free will and get it through the situation. That's just, this is just what it is. Um, if you're buying this to go through this stuff, don't buy it. Don't buy any of these three power chairs if this is your primary use is really thick gravel. If your driveway is gravel but it's compact and it's not so thick, you should be fine going down the mailbox and back. It's like, in a way, it's almost like buying a pair of shoes. I hate to say it. You got your work shoes, you got your running shoes, and you have your uh, boots. If you keep turning it, it's gonna make it harder. Those little wheels at the front are thin. This, on both of the carbon in the FI, they're a little bit thicker on this one. That's why it probably does a little bit better through here. You're traveling outside the country. You're gonna come across certain places that are gonna, you need to get up and either pick it up or move it. Um, so we don't like to come out here and show you this stuff riding through this perfect and editing it. I know there's stuff that you see on the beach all the time. They're riding stuff on the beach. This thing could go on the hard surface beach if the, if the tide's down. But getting out to the beach, if there's not like a, a ramp or some way, it's not. So be careful with falling for some of those videos and tricks to sell you on a beach chair. I wouldn't say buy this for the beach. If you go to the beach once a year, you're taking your mother your father uh -huh. and you can get it down to the hard beach come? sand i don't see why this wouldn't work down there it you know the salt's going to crush that everything though tire. so just oh, be yeah. careful all right let's go do like a conclusion really quick Tight through here, I don't know if we'll make it. Clear? The, the, the narrowest chair of them all. All right, so inside of a store, small store, yeah, it's fine. You're gonna win the race. <laughs> Who, him? Yeah. He lost. I won. You wanna sit in this chair and tell me how you like it, how it feels? Sure. Awesome. Samantha, right? Sam. Sam? <coughs> Samantha. No, Sam. <laughs> Sam I am? <laughs> yes, it is. All right, so this right here is a good way of getting in and out of it too. That's nice. I like yep. that. I'll let you sit in all three of them. Can you do that? Okay. What? Uh -oh. My leg. So comfort-wise, how's it feel? 
It's a little snug on my big body. Comfort on this one. What would you rate it? One to ten. Honest a nine. opinion. A nine? Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. That's a good rating. If, if this was low, it'd be a ten. It can go lower. Yep. Okay, right, it is. Good. Let's get you over here. Okay. Uh, he's here. I'm working her out. That's right. Man, I wouldn't mind one of these, I bet. Let's see that how is so lightweight. It Come is on. lightweight. It's about 38 pounds, I think. I can wow. handle that. They got a new one coming out. It's a little bit wider, though. It would have to be wider. Yeah. Because I got a bar in my hip. Okay. Denise, I, I didn't know that yeah, these are the... Okay, this is... Too short for they're me. almost the same. They change that. Okay. Except that this one. All right, you ready for the race? It's 27. Okay. That's 47. It, look at okay, the wheels that, that was digging in the back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just to stand out a little bit <coughs> farther. Mm -hmm. um, I'll Probably you. two. I'm five uh, nine. No. Five nine. Okay. Yeah. Um, the cushion can be changed though, just so you know. Mm -hmm. So right now, would you rate it? The back and seat are comfortable. Okay. I give it an eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Okay, well done. Yep, Eddie, bring that. that over here real quick, please, sir. And go find Brandon for me. Take that mic off. Actually, you want to we'll pause it. We'll get her started so she don't have to. Look at that. Look at that. Hey. They're number one in the league right now. Are they? Yes, they are. Oh, who's playing? All right, so this one's <laughs> honest. We're not paying you to just say good stuff. We're getting five. A, a five. <laughs> Eddie, you rated this at an eight or seven. He's a lot skinnier though. Seven. And it, yeah, no. The cushion on this one is more comfortable than that one. The yep. these two, but that's it. Okay. Well, all these cushions can be changed. Right. All right. Oh, well, there you go. How are you, sir? Someone yeah. tried out all three of them, and uh, we appreciate you. We'll get that lift taken care of. Well, yeah. Then maybe a four. <laughs> all right. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah. That makes a big.